It's a book about a man called Tarzan. It's his life story. He was born in the Ogaden wilderness of what is now Ethiopia and into a very poor nomadic family. During a famine, his father died. His mother decided that she couldn't look after all these kids, so she dropped two in Mogadishu. And Tarzan, as he later became known, um, was dropped to this very rough orphanage. In 1960, as Somalia was becoming independent, and he grew up this urchin really, fighting his way through this orphanage, became a bit of a basketball star. He's a character, somebody with a, a, who's almost have reinvented himself after his poor upbringing as, as a lion. And eventually when Somalia collapsed into civil war, he'd already got married, he'd been earning some money in Saudi Arabia. He fled, he sent his family first um, with illegal papers, illegal forged visas to London. He followed a couple of years later, and they ended up here in Chalk Farm, living Chalk Farm, North London, for 20 years, six kids, becoming proper Londoners. Um, but Tarzan, even though I think he was, you know, he committed to London, he owned an internet shop, he'd set up a, an organisation helping other Somalis to integrate, to find work. Um, above all, he was interested in politics, partly local politics. He ran as a Labour councillor, didn't get the seat, um, but particularly in diaspora politics, how to fix Somalia from the outside. He never abandoned that, and he became very big in the world of Somali diaspora politics. And eventually, after 20 years of anarchy, this country destroyed behind him, he went back uh, to become the mayor of Mogadishu at a time when the city was in ruins. Most of it was controlled by Islamist militants, Al-Shabaab, and Tarzan had a few square kilometers of rubble and misery to try and make a difference. And he did. He, he got street lighting, he cleared the rubbish, and above all, what he talks about with most enthusiasm, is he gave people a sense of what was possible, not just locals who'd kind of dazed by all these years of, of hardship, but also the diaspora. He was this symbol, we can go back and we can fix Somalia and fix Mogadishu. Um, of course, it didn't end up so simple. Um, although Al-Shabaab retreated from Mogadishu and there's a lot of improvements, Tarzan had a tough time, Somalia had a tough time. After four years, miraculously, he'd survived. To be honest, he, he, he's an outspoken, man, a loud mouth, and, and he went around challenging people and making a lot of enemies, not least Al-Shabaab, the militants. But they didn't kill him, they tried many, many times. He stepped down, he was kicked out as mayor in a reshuffle, and he's now running for the presidency. Um, Somalia is not in any way fixed, it's still trying to put itself back together. Mogadishu is not in any way fixed, but it is making some progress. And to me, Tarzan, in a way, his story, his life story mirrors something of Somalia's own journey. But also it's a way of almost now looking into the future. Because here's the story of a man who survived, who left, who fled war, and is now going back. And I suppose you could see in that the story, the future of many Syrians and so on, who are also today in that kind of conflict situation.